The Excel filter tool is a superb method for sorting your data set. However, what if I tell you you can automatically and dynamically sort your data set? Does that pique your interest? Well, this is how you do it. On your worksheet, you're going to right click on it and from the context menu, you're going to go to view code. In here, you're going to paste this VBA script. If you like a copy of this VBA script, please leave a request on the comment section of this video. There's a couple of things that you can customize here so that it meets your data set requirement. The first line indicates column C, which is your sorting column. This is this is the column that I'm going to sort based on. If your column you're sorting based on B, you're going to put B colon B here like this. And then the second line on the VBA script here is a range for your data set. Mine goes from column A to column C. That's why I'm saying A colon C like this. Now, this particular subroutine get triggers whenever you make changes to your worksheet here. So when you go in there, what it does is that uh, if it's within that range of a sorting, uh, which means if it's within that column C that you're making changes to, then you start applying the sort function here. So before that, I determine what column I'm targeting, which is going to be column C for my case here. And there's a couple of key items that you can change here. One of them is the XL descending. Right now, if I make any changes, it will do descending order, which I'll show you in a bit. It can change this to ascending if you like. Well, let's do a test here. Press Control S to save, and let's minimize this VBA editor here. Now, if I were to go ahead and make some minor changes to my data set, let's say, for example, I want to change this to instead of 50,348, uh, I'm going to say 10,000. You see what happens here. You can see that it is in descending order and that gets on the third on the line here. Let's say, for example, if I put this to, say, um, 30, you can see that the uh, Lee jumps down way below on the list here. Likewise, this also applies when you add a new record. Let's say I'm going to add a new salesperson called James. Oops, James, there you go. And then he's from Canada. And let's give him some total sales figure like this. You can see James goes up the food chain here and he's on row number 10 here. Let's go ahead and look at our order now. Let's say, for example, if you want to change this to ascending, simply change this to ascending like this. Control S to save and let's minimize this guy here. Now, if you make any changes here, let's say if I change this to 15, you can see that the smallest number goes way up top on your data set here. It's that simple how you, you can make those changes. Now, another thing I want to show you, right click view code here, is to adjust your sorting range here. Now, I'm sorting based on column C and for some reason, you want to sort based on column B. All you have to do is put B colon B like this. Control S to save. Let's minimize this guy here. So now if I were to change, make any changes, because changes uh, triggers that uh, subroutine there. Let's say if Ted has moved from Japan to say Canada, you can see that everything get uh, sorted according to ascending order. And likewise, if you want to see it in uh, descending order, you say descending here. Control S to save and minimize it. And now, if I were to change uh, Haley to US like this, you can see that everything gets sorted in uh, this descending order. 